Okay. Go, Horthy. Simple! I have Horthy. A single skirmish? Got your feet now. Don't you run from Odin the Horthy Master. Get you done. You do it over and over again. Don't you run from Odin the Horsey Master. No, 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 no! Go, Horsey! Go, Horsey! Tra la la! Can't run from Odin the Horsey Master. Oh no, you don't run from Odin the Horsey Master. The Master of the Horsey. Oh, you're almost dead, aren't you? I'm not even. I'm not even. No! I'm not even half my health and you're already dead! Almost dead! No. Go Odin! Go Odin! Horsey Master! Can I do it now? Can I just him now? This is why- he's like literally almost dead! Why can't you just him? There we go. All I need was that. Can we just- no Odin, just stay here. Just stay. Okay, let's try it again. No. Attack, attack, attack. We do that thing, dodge, 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 dodge. <laughs> Go, attack, 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 attack. No, dodge, dodge, dodge. Dodge. Attack, 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 attack. Wow, what, wow, all heck. I know, wow, that's easy. That's all I, all I, I ain't losing my health. All I had to do was that. Now keep attacking, I don't care. Don't you reactivate, no. Just stay dead. Nothing like that. Playing card. Oh, that is, oh, finally, wow. It took, oh, that easy? Oh, wow, I'm just, I'm just stupid. <laughs> How did I lose? How did I lose? Like, four times. How I lose, like, four times to that one boss? I didn't lose a single lick of health. That was... close one. Wow. Miss Grace, yeah. I, just, I think I deserve lower this, see? I mean, wow, that was awful. Uh, I can't believe I died, like, so many times. Casualties. Wait a minute, zero casualties? I died, like, six times in that. How, how'd I have zero casualties? Uh, already, I'm already, gonna, I'm already gonna love this game. I just can't wait to, like, continue to play the rest of it. Just, like, get the story and, like, the gameplay just amazing. It's, like, a different Final Fantasy, and I, I think I like it. Oh, well, I'll sit down there. Oh, I got nothing. Okay. Because that was the first mission, or mi the first mission, or prologue, if you want to say it. I, I call it the first mission, because that's the first mission in, in the, in whatever, you know, you know it says, it says first mission. Some people say prologue, it's actually the first mission. Or chapter one to the amazing story. Um, I don't know how many chapters this thing has, but I will be doing the entire walkthrough of it. It's like, super, like, super excited. I, will, I also will be doing the Final Fantasy 15 demo that comes out with this, so... Ah, oh, I'm, I'm going to be playing that, like, all day every hour just you have to literally pry the controller away from my hands when that thing fish is stalling so thank you all for watching don't forget to like favorite subscribe and stay awesome Who are you people? Those red cloaks. No way. N Ninetail is down! Communication lost with Kunmi! Impossible. 
What's going on out there? The Vermilion Bird Crystal is fully restored. Magic readings in all sectors. Wait, point 68. A Lassie? A Vermilion Bird Lassie! I've lost contact with the 204th and 208th. Get our men out of there. Attention all units in Dominion territory. Halt all military operations and withdraw at once. Retreat! Retreat! Send HQ a code 991. We're transitioning to Operation Northern Dawn. Sir! Hmm. To come this far just to be turned back. Six hours into the operation, Rubrum's Agito Cadet Class Zero achieved its objective, and the Dominion succeeded in taking back its territory. It was here that Class Zero made its first mark in the pages of history. So if I'm telling we're gonna do something super like great, like maybe take down the entire Imperial Army, because that's like our mark in history. So I mean we did something really big to make everyone go, oh my gosh, class zero is so awesome. Which was forged to the turret. Alright, yeah, I'm playing a face. Okay. Why can't I do the car thing? Because of this deplorable, gravely unwarranted and unforgivable breach of faith, we have all lost many friends and loved ones oh i didn't want to do that damn it drive out the military forces that still unlawfully occupy our territories and liberate our villages cities and citizens that continue to suffer at the hands of the empire rubrum is not in this alone all of orients must confront this challenge <laughs> I hope that you will all remember this as a new... Chancellor! Anathemic readings in Lorca! What? Oh. One day, historians may refer to this as Tempus Finis. Hm. Nonsense. This is not the beginning of the end. It is the first ray of hope, one that we've brought forth. Dun dun dun. Aquila, the uh, Aqua XII 842. In 842 RG, an Ultima bomb, powerful enough to obliterate an entire continent, was dropped on the Black Peristilium in Lorica. In the blink of an eye, the Lorican Alliance, which had stood proud for 700 years, was completely erased from the continent of Orients. Wait a minute, Ultima Bomb? You mean like, Ultima Ultima? Like, the ultimate spell in Final Fantasy kind of Ultima? Oh, damn. I do not want, I do not want to face the ultimate Ultima Bomb, damn. Ultima is like, in Final Fantasy, Ultima is basically the, like, the big daddy spell, like, the ultimate of ultimate spells. You know, like, once you learn Ultima, you're good. You're good. Like, you're Raise king. Raise the Vermilion Banner. Chapter 2. Raise the Vermilion Banner. And make pancakes. Fearing an attack with a second Ultima bomb, the Kingdom of Concordia, home to the Azure Peristilium, began defending the airspace over its territory and that of the Dominion of Rubrum. Concerned the war might spread to other nations, Concordia sought an immediate cessation of hostilities, but was rejected outright by the Dominion of Rubrum. With large portions of land occupied by the Empire, the Dominion was reluctant to accept a ceasefire 
as that would be a silent concession to the Empire's act of aggression. The Consortium of Eight, Rubrum's supreme ruling council, spent several days debating how to recover their lost territory. With our force's current state, do you really believe we can defeat the Empire in a full-scale conflict? We'll have to abandon our outer territories and focus on defending the capital and retaking key strategic areas. We can make up for our disadvantage in numbers with the sea. The Empire already unleashed the sea on us during this invasion. We're lucky that it wasn't a Primus. If they want to throw dirt at us, I say we just throw it right back at them. My, you've quite the sense of humor. Do you really think a Lassie would accede to the wishes of the Consortium? Why not? The Vermilion Bird Crystal was attacked by an enemy Lassie. It was put in danger. There's no way that it's Lassie could refuse to aid us in this situation. And if the Lassie operated by that logic, you might actually have a point. Only the Vermilion Bird Crystal has the power to direct the Lassie to help us. And the wills or wants surrounding that do not a productive discussion make. Might I offer a suggestion? I understand the cadets who were involved in the liberation of the capital were unaffected by the jammer and managed to repel the White Tiger Lassie. Can we create more soldiers with the same magic technology used to create them? Sorry I'm late. You can't simply repeat what I've done with the children. And the tech itself is classified. Disclosure is out of the question. <sighs> Dr. Aratia, have you learned anything about the Crystal Jammer? Very little, I'm afraid. I can say with certainty, though, that no human could operate the Jammer. It would take a lessee. However, my scanners haven't detected any major disruptions since Lorica's little disappearing act. Based on the data, I believe that something has happened to the Lassie, and the jammer is inoperable. Even if that's true, do you have an actual plan to get us out of this current mess? Just deploy the cadets. Huh? Hmm? I believe that is the best way to turn the tide of battle without compromising our defenses. Undeniably, the Agito cadets would make for a potent implement of war, but... Would it not be seen as an expansion of the role of those defending the Peristylian? No. Oh. If the sea won't help us, what choice do we have? Very well. Shall we defer to the Chancellor's judgment? The Dominion's very existence is imperiled. Each of us will be put to trial. Even the Agito cadets. And if Rubrum is at stake, they would welcome those challenges. Very well then. Shall we make it official? The Fountain Courtyard. Ooh, beautiful. Wow. I'd love to visit a place like this. Okay, one thing I can already tell with this game is gonna have a lot of cutscenes, like Metal Gear Solid kind of cutscenes, like where it takes like three days for the cutscene to end. Uh, okay. Over right, okay, I'm about to say like already right, another cutscene? Wow! I didn't believe the rumor about crimson clad cadets thrashing the white tagless sea. 
But here you are, Class Zero in the flesh, Amaka, from fir from Class First. It's an honor. Why, don't I show you around? This is Academia, home of Vermilion Peristillon. Your homeroom should be just through the entrance down the hall to the left. Wait, homeroom? Oh, basically, this is like a school slash, also basically like a military school. You haven't met your CO yet, have you? You won't be officially registered as a cadet until you do. So, so I would head there first. Follow the team marking up. Okay. Our pup just come to pl with plenty of responsibilities too. But we cadets are here looking out for each other. Don't be a stranger. I uh, wouldn't really dream.